Namaste everyone, how are you today? Today's topic is called How I got rid of racism in the gay scene I used to think that the gay scene was quite uh, racist like many of you tell me as well and this used to get me really down and depressed um, until I figured out this way of um, getting rid of racism in my world and today I want to spin your world around by hopefully helping you with this tip and I hope it works for you so let me give you a bit of a backstory. So when I was 18 and I went to London to university, someone asked me to go on this dating site called Gaydar. They said that um, you can meet your potential partner there. And at that time, I was only interested in dating white guys. That's because I felt like the Asian community were quite uh, homophobic and backward. So I kind of was avoiding and getting away from all of that. Um, but when I went onto this site and searched for the type of guy I wanted, over and over, every uh, profile just kept saying, muscular, masculine, straight acting, white guy, seek similar, muscular, masculine, straight acting, white guy. Um, no femmes, no fats, no Asians, no blacks. Sorry, this is not racism, this is just my preference. I was so shocked by this that I deleted the dating site or quickly just there and then because I thought the very guys that I drooled over and wanted to be with were declaring time and time again that they weren't interested in me and that they didn't find me attractive and that really uh, hit a nerve. I even did an anthropology essay at university about this and um, it was plaguing my mind for so long. I mean even nowadays on Grindr they write down stuff like no Asians, no blacks and it's quite rude um, but you know, I realised you cannot change, though you cannot change others um, to make them not racist anymore, you can bring awareness, but you can definitely use this one trick that I'm going to tell you, which will help you to rid yourself of, uh, in, you know, the racism that occurs. Um, a lot of my friends tell me that they believe that they are on the lowest spectrum when it comes to dating in the gay scene. They feel like uh, white guys are more preferred. Um, but then I ask them, do you date your own race? Do you date Asians? Do you date blacks? Or do you just only go for white people? Because, I mean, what's wrong with loving your own self and your own race and, and dating them? I used to hate my own ethnicity. I thought that, you know, Asian people were the way they were and I wanted to remove myself away from that. So, and also, if you think that white people are going to date white people, they're more likely to do so because you manifest your uh, life. So you'll see evidence of that. Um, so I'm like, why would you want to date people who don't want to date you? You know, try dating other people or dating people who are more open to that. Um, date your own race or date guys who are not into, you know, being racist. I understand that if you are brought up in the West and you live in the West, um, you're more likely to pick up a lot of negativity about your own um, ethnicity if you come from a minority group such as South Asian, such as Indian because you don't see evidence of that on in the media, in the TV you know, white guys are preferred and they're on the magazine spreads and your family and your friends can also mirror that and, and say that to you that basically, you know, we're being discriminated against um, and also our community is all about being light-skinned and if you're darker skinned or not as attractive uh, what is seen as attractive then you're more likely to feel bad about yourself um, and see yourself as less than. Now in India, for example, in South Asia, if you're an ethnic minority group um, and you don't look like what the media declares is beautiful, not that muscular type of person, um, and you don't have the light skin or whatever it is, you also may feel like you're less than. This is a spiritual bit, so pay attention. Um, basically, I removed racism from within myself. The law of attraction says, if you are insecure about your own race, you are more likely to attract people or circumstances which confirm that insecurity within you. So you're more likely to attract racist dating profiles, rejection and blatant nastiness. See, you attract what you feel. So if you judge others and say, you know, he's white, he's more likely to date white guys or he's Asian and I don't want to date him, then um, you match up to that sort of energy, the energy of fear, separation, and you'll meet similar people like you. Um, so it's very important to see that, you know, if you need to come from a place of unity and oneness and realise that we're one human race and that we're all equal, there's no subdivisions. Because if you, if, if you see racism everywhere and you say, you know what, 
that person was racist to me or it's because I'm brown and you Google it and you talk about it with your friends constantly. It's always in your vibration, it's in your in your consciousness. So you kind of find what you're looking for. You, you know, you, if you seek, if you look for it, you'll find it. So it's very important to kind of almost not think in that sort of way that everyone's against you, everyone's racist. Think more of love and oneness and then you'll meet people who think the same. See, your external reality will reflect whatever your internal reality is. So that if you follow those steps, you're more likely to attract people who either love you for your race or see or those who see beyond your race. I prefer those who see me beyond my race because when I lived in Germany, I, I felt very fetishized like a zoo animal because I was being approached by guys who liked me because of my skin color or because of my ethnicity and the hair on my body. And I didn't like that. It's better to meet people who see beyond race um, another way you can help remove racism within uh, yourself or in the gay scene is to remove yourself from that victimhood, um, from, from racists altogether, remove yourself from people who are like that. Be loving, love your own race and see beyond it, see everyone as being a spiritual being, having a spiritual perspective, so see others for their spirit inside, not their external beauty. Remember that you are the revolution and you can bring change within yourself and then that will be reflected in your community, in your reality. Yes, of course, you can uh, bring awareness to others, but it's their choice whether they um, uh, want to change and not be racist. I can guarantee you, however, if you do start loving your own race and seeing beyond race, um, your interaction with people who are racist won't happen as often. So that's my tip which I think is very important. And if you liked this video, then please subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel. You can like and comment and interact with me on Instagram and YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and my website, myspiritualsoul.com, because I'm actually giving you a chance to win. Uh, drum roll, please, because now is gonna be revealed the cover for my book called Bollywood Gay, which is out this summer. And I'm thinking of giving away either 10, 50 or 100 free copies for lucky winners who actually uh, follow me. Um, because inside the book there's a chapter called No Femmes, No Fats, No Asians, which talks about this topic in a lot more detail, about how you can actually remove that racism and not experience it in your day-to-day -day life. So um, if, you, um, if you really like that kind of stuff, then please subscribe. And uh, you can also donate if you thought this video was useful because there's a lot of people out there who contact me from India, from villages, who don't know much about their own sexuality or what they're going through and they need support. So if you support me, I can support more people out there. And um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, thank you very much. I hope you have a really good week and please write a comment and share it with other people. Thank you. Bye.